Hi guys, welcome to my channel Math Army. So in the given figure 6.30, if AB is parallel to CD and EF is perpendicular to CD and angle GED equal to 126 degrees, so find the angle AGE, GEF and angle FGE. So guys, we have been given only one information and that to angle GED is equal to 126. So let us find where is this angle GED in the figure. So first of all, let me write given angle GED is equal to 126. Now, let us go back to the figure where it is angle G here starts angle E and angle D O. Oh. So it's an obtuse angle. So from starts from here and then set here. Okay. And the information has been given as 126. Okay. Guys, if you carefully observe, there is one information given in the figure, but not in the question. F and E is a perpendicular. So obviously a right angle is formed here. See, I am highlighting that. A right angle is formed and the value of right angle will be always 90 degrees. And if this one is 90 degrees, what will be the remaining part? Simple guys, 126 minus 90. Okay, this part would be 126 minus 90. Okay, so I can directly write 30 6 degrees and if I add 36 degrees and 90 degrees you will still be getting 126 right that is how you need to understand the the given figure so that will be very easy so once we know that uh, it is 36 degrees and 90 degrees half of your work is done now let us focus on angle A G E so angle A starts here G and E okay and what would be the information? Guys, any information? Just looking at angle AGE. Have you heard of? If you are really good at uh, the basics of the lines and angles, I can directly say that angle AGE is equal to angle GED. Yes, guys, angle GED. You might be asking how angle AGE is equal to angle GED. Any guess? I am writing in the braces. They are alternate. Now you got it. Alternate you. Angles. Simple guys. And alternate angles are always equal. So angle AGE is equal to angle GED because these two angles are alternate to each other. So we got one answer. Now let us focus on. So I have write, written angle AG equal to 126. Now let us focus on angle GEF. Angle GEF. Okay, we already calculated. It is 36, right? Angle GEF. Because we have calculated at the time of the beginning of the solution itself. Because we know that. Angle F E D is right angle 90 degrees. So obviously the remaining part would be 126 minus 90. So therefore it is 36 degrees. So this is how you need to read the figure guys. It will be very simple to answer. Now what is the last part that you are left with? You are left with F G E. F G E. And here it is. And how come you got to know that to find FG? Guys, if it is angle 90 at the bottom, it will be obviously angle 90 at the top as well. Right? Angle F on the both the sides would be also 90 degrees because it is perpendicular. So when you know that angle F is 90 and angle E is 36. So... What is the sum of angles within a triangle? It is 180. 
So write a statement. Sum of angles is equal to 180. Okay. And uh, the triangle is GEF. So angle E plus angle F plus angle G is equal to 180. And angle E value is 36. Write 36 here. Angle F is 90 degrees. So write plus 90. And angle G we don't know. So write angle G equal to 180. So guys you know that 90 plus 36 is 126. So if you push 196 to the right hand side it becomes 180 minus 126. So therefore angle G is equal to 54 degrees. So therefore I am writing here 54. That's it guys. It is that simple. And normally these kind of questions you can expect in the board examinations for sure. At least one. Either for two marks or three marks. It depends upon the complexity. But guys, I always say that get the hold on the basics, the fundamentals. Whether it's an all alternate angles, whether opposite angles or vertically opposite angles. If you get the command over those basics, any given problem is very simple to understand. Okay, that's it guys from this video. See you in the next video. Bye for now.